This webinar will provide a deep dive into Gmetrics testing mode within the student portal at gmetrics.net. We will review training versus testing, uses for Gmetrics testing mode within your classroom, and provide best practices for usage when preparing for exams. In an effort to get the most out of this webinar, I encourage you to have materials for note taking and to log into the Gmetrics student dashboard at gmetrics.net. I will start by pointing out that Gmetrics practice exams are based on the certification exams and mimic the testing environment. These tests will be the best option for gauging certification exam readiness. Both training and testing modes cover the same questions and material, but there are some differences. Training mode is great when you're still becoming comfortable with the material because it allows you to get quick feedback and learn why you do or don't understand the concept. It's important to note that during training mode, there's no visible timer, but you are being timed and will be able to see it on your school report. The availability of the help text feature which can be a light bulb icon or a question mark, depending on the test, provides you with information to help you answer the question correctly. Learners are provided immediate feedback to let you know whether you got the question right or wrong and gives you the opportunity to correct your answer. Testing mode is great for when you're comfortable with the material and you want a more accurate check on how well you will do on the certification exam. Let's look at some specifics as to why testing mode is a great tool. Testing mode has an enforced time limit that matches the time limit of the certification exam. Additionally, no help text is available and no feedback is provided until the test has been submitted for grading. Both modes allow you to mark questions for review, reset a question, save and return later, and skip questions mimicking the certification exam. You may notice that your question is different from mine and many of your students will have the same question in a different order, and some will have questions that others don't. This is due to Gmetrics' extensive bank of questions built to ensure that learners are adequately prepared and have varying attempts to understand the concepts. Gmetrics also provides multiple question types, which are determined by the test category and product that you are training on. Testing types include matching, multiple answer, and you want to be careful here because many students will miss questions like this because they did not read the part where it says choose three. So please uh, encourage your students to make sure that they read the entire question. Other types of true, false, stimulus, and multiple choice. Please note that this is not meant to be a full list of all of the question types within Gmetrics and it will vary depending on your category and product that you are testing on. We also have available tests that provide practice through hands-on practical tasks. These tests can be delivered live in app or through the cloud. Each question has a unique question ID. If you feel that a question might have inaccurate information or needs to be reviewed by our content team, you may submit a support ticket at support.gmetrics.net. Please include the question ID when submitting the ticket to assist us with locating it. Now let's take a look at how to access testing mode at gmetrics.net in the student portal. Navigate to gmetrics.net and then enter your username and password and choose sign in. The opening screen is your dashboard and displays your most recent activity. I do want to point out here the tell me about this page. If you're ever having trouble with this page and not sure what to do, you can choose to tell me about this page and it will take you on a tour of the page and explain the components. On the left hand navigation menu, you want to choose test and new test. The take a test screen will open and it will have a list of all of your products. You will choose your product and then choose your category. You may have to choose more than one category. It will vary based on the product that you have selected. For instance, if you have selected Microsoft, you will likely have Word, PowerPoint, and Excel on the next screen. Once you're to the screen where you're able to select a test, you want to determine what test you're going to take. When you hover over the exams, you have the option of training mode or testing mode. Choose testing mode. 
you will notice that the exam opens and there is a counter at the top that is counting down, just like in the certification. You do have the option to pause your test and stop the timer while you are taking the exam. To do that, you just choose the save button. When you return to the test, you will return with the same amount of time left on your exam and in the same place on the exam. We will now pause to give you time to open a Gmetrics exam in testing mode. The test will be graded and a score report generated and shown immediately once a student chooses submit. Score reports can be accessed later in the admin panel under reports. Please review the reports webinar for information on how to access and in the student portal. To access your score report in the student portal, you want to choose test and completed test. You will have all completed tests on your screen and you will be able to choose the test that you would like to see the score report for. You will notice that each completed test tile does contain the name of the test, the score, and the date and time completed. This is important because you will often take a test more than one time. By looking at the date completed and the score, you will be able to tell which test that you are trying to access the score report for. And within testing mode, students are not able to receive the immediate feedback like they do in training mode but at the end of the testing, they are able to go in and review the questions that they missed. Once they review those questions and choose answers, they then get feedback similar to that of training mode. You want to make sure the students are reviewing the explanations and understanding why they got the answers incorrect. This will go a long way in helping them to understand the concepts and get them correct in the future. I also recommend having a pen and paper handy to write down any vocab or explanations that they need to remember. Your score report contains the name of the test and the time spent on test. Again, when you're in training mode, the test is timed, but you have an unlimited amount of time. Knowing how long it takes you to take a practice exam is important because when you're taking the actual exam and the exam in testing mode, you will be on a 50 minute countdown or whatever time is allotted for that particular exam. So you want to make sure that you're monitoring your time spent while doing practice exams so that your time is decreasing. That way you will be sure to complete the exam, the testing exam, as well as the actual certification exam within the allotted amount of time. Also on the score report, there will be encouragement, regardless of the score. So whether you pass or fail, you will be told that and you will receive encouragement. You will also have your score out of a thousand points as well as out of the number of points on the test. You will also be told the number of points or the number of questions you need to get correct in order to pass the exam. 
There's also a breakdown by question and this correlates with the objectives here. So it gives you the objectives and it tells you how many questions out of each objective that you were able to get right. And then it has a key here, the red, the yellow, and the green. And this key, it correlates here with the green, letting you know that you did score 81 to 100% on each objective. And then if you go to objectives here, you have all of the objectives, the three objectives that are on the exam, and it tells you the red being the objectives where you scored zero to 50% at, green being 81 to 100%, and then the yellow 51 to 80%. Utilizing this information with the objectives is very important for student remediation. They can utilize this information, go to the study guide, and create their own custom exam. This eliminates the need for the teacher to create custom exams for each individual student, but also allows the teacher to be able to create their custom exams based on overall class objectives that need to be identified. The student can take their learning into their own hands here and accelerate from a student to a learner by doing the self remediation in the questions tab, students are able to view the names of the questions that were on the exam. The red X indicates that the question was incorrect, while the green check mark indicates that the question was correct. When reviewing the questions in the questions tab in testing mode, students are only able to see the objective and the question stem. They are able to also click on the study guide and they will be taken to an overview of the question and there's a video that shows them information on the question. Having students review using the study guide and the videos is a great way to help them understand any concepts that they may have missed. This is another reason why Gmetrics is a great product for students to utilize for self-study. They do not necessarily need to have a teacher with them at all times. They can self-remediate utilizing the feedback and the videos and the study guides provided. Choosing Go to Study Guide allows the students to go to the Gmetrics study guide where they will be able to see statistics based on several practice tests taken, as well as create their own custom exams based on the objectives that they need to focus on. Please review the Geometric Study Guide webinar for more information on how to utilize a study guide effectively within your classroom. I will now pause here to give you time to open a score report and review some of the missed questions as well as look at the study guide and see where you can access the videos for assistance. Let's talk about some best practices and tips for use of the Gmetrics testing mode. The study guide is a great tool to use for days when you might have a substitute or on those state testing days where you only get to see your students for maybe 20 minutes, but not your full class period. 
Students are able to utilize a study guide and create their own custom exams. To do that, they will click on View All Questions within the study guide. Select questions based on the areas needed to be reviewed. You will notice here that it tells the items selected and the approximate number amount of time that will be needed to complete. They go to the gear. They are able to choose training mode or testing mode and then choose start test. Within the custom test builder, students are also able to see all of the questions that are on the e exam, depending on which exam you are practicing with, as well as the explanations and whether or not they have had that question in one of the practice exams that they took. A quick review allows a learner to see how many questions are in their developmental area, decide how many they want to answer, and choose testing or training mode. It is recommended that they select at least 20 questions as a starting point so they can get more useful preliminary performance data. Remember, the more tests that are taken, the more your, the study guide can help prepare for success on exam day. Gmetrics testing mode is a great way to perform mock testing and prepare students for what they will experience on the actual certification exam testing day. Have students perform all of the policies and procedures that they will perform on a normal testing day. Procedures will differ based on your area. I would have students to enter their classroom with their ID out ready for me to check. I would have them to sign in and then tell them which computer they would be testing at. All personal items will be left at the front of the classroom for me to give the signal for and we're even they're able to start their test and stay in the classroom until their time was uh, completed. The next day, we would review the results and students are able to see how prepared they are for exam in regards to information that could be on the exam as well as being able to complete the exam in the allotted amount of time. I would then pull the objectors report from the admin panel and create custom exams and do focus studies on the areas where the class was under 51%. Please review the reports section on how to pull specific reports within the Gmetrics admin panel. Gmetrics testing mode is a great way to determine exam readiness, practice with a timer, prepare for the exam, and determine the areas needed to review. Utilizing testing mode is a great way to mimic the actual certification exam environment and prepare students for the different things that they may encounter on certification testing day. Combining the Gmetrics training mode, testing mode, the study guide, utilizing reports to create custom exams, and the curriculum on the Gmetrics platform are tools for certification success. Lastly, I do recommend that you view the Gmetrics training mode webinar. Information given in that webinar, combined with information from this testing mode webinar, will help you with successful implementation of both modes within your classrooms. That webinar, along with all previous and future Gmetrics webinars, can be viewed on the Gmetrics YouTube page at Gmetrics Support. Thank you for joining us. I want to invite you to stay connected with us through the Gmetrics Facebook and LinkedIn pages. Also, like and subscribe to the Gmetrics official YouTube page to receive instant alerts of new content postings, review previous webinars, and our FAQ channel where we will be posting videos addressing the most frequently asked questions. If you have a FAQ that you would like us to do a video for, please make sure to include that on their survey.